So starting off CNC break 13,169, we've got the cup giveaway break. All right. We've got for the Red Wings, number to 299, tra uh, team trademarks, Nikki Lidstrom. Nikki Lidstrom. We've got for the Minnesota Wild, Miko Koivu. Limited base. And we've got the greatest player to step foot on the ice in history, Austin Matthews. Jersey. Austin Matthews jersey. Hoot, hoot. There we go. That's probably a rare jersey, to be honest. I don't know if they did the groupings in that uh, that one, but would not be surprised. I hope we get some Nashville in all honesty. <laughs> See, everyone agrees with me on that one. We've got base. Actually, here's a fun conversation I had with a couple of Leaf fans in store. And obviously, if you're not a Leaf fan, you can still chime in. If Matthews, Liam Foodie, Young Guns for the Columbus Blue Jackets, if Matthews plays his entire career in Toronto, do you think he could be the greatest Leaf of all time? Portrait of Roman Yossi for the Nashville Predators. And again, be honest. I'm kind of curious if you guys have honest opinions. Could he be the best Leaf of all time if he played his entire career? That's obviously the big, big kicker. Ryan O'Reilly for the Blues canvas. That's what I was saying. There is a lot of amazing Leafs over the years. Portraits, rookies of Robertson for the Dallas Stars. We've got a Dazzler's Gold, John Carlson. John Carlson. Young Guns of Nick Robertson. I was going to say, you got to go with Matt Sundin is probably, sadly, up there as one of them. Gilmore Clark, I don't know if you'd put them in that conversation. Um, obviously not just necessarily forwards, but Johnny Bauer. Um... Borey Salming, Young Guns of Jake Ottinger for the Dallas Stars. Your eyes, yeah. Um, again, I'm not saying what he's the best. I just, I don't know. Whoever, who do you guys have as the current best Maple Leaf ever? That's so. If you guys have Sittler, for example, the best Maple Leaf ever, then could he pass him? We've got a Nicholas Bodan, glossy rookies for the Hawks. Keon, yeah. We've got a Morgan Geeky Glossy Rookie. Carolina. We've got a Velarde Gold Glossy Rookie for the Kings. Thrills, I'll be honest. If if that if the Leafs win a cup, every single one of them will be immortalized. And I will tell you, B. Golden will probably tell you the same thing for Montreal. If Toronto or Montreal players win a cup, you are forever a god in that city. It will not go away. And even, like, even Toronto people are gods right now and they didn't win a cup. I can only imagine the years and years and years and years of statues and everything else. Like, it, you would literally be forever remembered in Toronto. You, you would just be, it'd be done. So, yes, I agree with that. If he wins the cup instantly, I would have him in that conversation as one of the greatest Leafs of all time because he took the team to a cup. It would be, like, they could literally live off the rest of their life of the stuff. We've got a winning materials, jersey and puck, Yarmer Yager. Yarmer Yager, Pittsburgh Penguins. Yeah, I have a feeling of the same thing, Paul, which is sad. I do think Marner will be a leaf for his career. I, I'm not 100% confident in Matthews, honestly. 
We got a Precious Gems, number to 1999. That's actually a really good one, I think. For the Minnesota Wild, Marion Gabrick. That's probably one of the better ones in this, isn't it? Minnesota Wild, Marion Gabrick. I don't know if it sells for crazy money, but I feel like it's a decent one. We've got number to 1,500, Reed Low Rookie for the St. Louis Blues. You have that card. You think Matthews, eh? You think he's going to stay with the... Uh, honestly, I'm not 100% on him. Number to 1,500, Prime Performers, Scott Hartnell for the Preds. Claudio, do you even... I, I'm not sure if you understand what I'm saying. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. On that. Now, I, I tried to read what you wrote twice, and I apologize if I don't understand it. Or maybe you misunderstood what I'm saying. What I was saying, to be clear, is Toronto and Montreal are similar markets. Obviously, New Jersey Redemption, that's way expired. That if they win the cup, all those players are immediately immortalized long term. We've got number to 1500, Shane Hindi. Hindi? Hmm. Ottawa Senators. Base. Correct. If Toronto wins, they will be immortalized. Yes. And I'm saying the same thing about um, a place like Montreal. Montreal, they, they do the exact same thing. We've got a precious, precious gems in 1999 of Euro Babenko for the Colorado Avalanche. I don't see how they would. The only way Evan can get Matthews, I believe, is they had to get rid of Dreisaitl, right? Why not just make it easier? Bring McDavid over to Toronto. I feel like that's the easiest solution. Yeah, Claudio, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. <laughs> I think we're agreeing on the same things. We've got a Anaheim Ducks of Nicholas Cordillas. Red rookie. LA Kings, Jeff Carter. And we got a Kaylor Yamamoto for the Oilers Impact Players. We've got a Buffalo Sabres Red of Eichel. A Tavares uh, blue for the Islanders. Exceptional town of Shifley for the Jets. I feel like Claudio were on the same page. So don't worry. Penguins of Crosby red. Burray blue for the Canucks. Impact players of Patty Kane for the Hawks. We've got a Luke Kuhn in for the Minnesota Wild red. We've got a Malkin blue for the Penguins. And a Lanny McDonald, which will be between Calgary and Toronto. Um, I don't know at this point if it would be bigger. Like, Montreal's pretty big, to be honest. Mario Lemieux, Pittsburgh Penguins, red. We've got a synergy of ja Jack Roslevic, blue rookie for the Winnipeg Jets. Do you honestly think if Montreal did not uh, won the cup, it would be bigger than Leafs? Pierre-Luc Dubois, exceptional talent for the Jackets. I honestly do think both of them would be... Very similar size at this point. Madison Bowie, Washington Capitals red rookie. John Gillies green for the Calgary Flames. And we've got a Robert Hag for the Philadelphia Flyers noteworthy. I don't know. It'd be interesting. 
I hope at least the Canadian team wins a cup soon. Kudra for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Red. Victor Mete, green rookie for the Montreal Canadiens. Oh, Leafs would be huge. But I'm saying I don't think the Habs would be small. <laughs> Impact players of McD uh, McDonough for the Rangers. I think Habs would be equally as large. Goudreau for the Calgary Flames. They've waited a long time too. We've got a red rookie for the Blue Jackets, Pierre-Luc Dubois. Pierre-Luc Dubois. And we got a Tippett Noteworthy Newcomers for the Panthers. So here's another fun conversation. Out of all the Canadian teams, which Canadian team do you guys think is the most neutral? And what I mean by that is, like, if Montreal goes to the finals, you know a lot of Leaf fans are going to be better. If Toronto goes to the finals, you know most other, uh, most other not Leaf fans are going to be better. What do you guys think? Who? What? Which Canadian team is the most, like, most of Canada would jump on and be okay with winning at this point? You think Winnipeg? Interesting. We've got for the Carolina Hurricanes, rookie auto to 299, Sebastian Aho. That's a good one. So we got some Winnipeg, some Vancouver's. All right, we got a bit of everything here. So not Calgary. You guys have uh, we have issues with Calgary. Uh, Sub Zero rookie for the Blues of Tage Thompson. Sub Zero rookie of Jake DeBrusque for the Boston Bruins. Winnipeg has the least enemies. Maybe yeah. Twelve ninety nine of Ann Tippin for the Buffalo Sabers. Not Calgary. And we've got for the Blues, Ice Premier's jersey, Tage Thompson. I don't know if Winnipeg would be for Leaf fans. The only reason I say that is the Matthews Line A debate. I feel like if Line A is still on the team, there'd be a lot of Leaf fans. Not saying it's deservedly so, but I feel like they'd be a bit bitter if Line A wins the cup before Matthews does. Just my honest opinion on that. All right, what do you guys think for the U.S.? I only care about Line A. <laughs> actually, you know what's sad? I actually like Line A Golden. I actually think he's a really good player. I don't know why he gets a lot of flack. SB Essentials of Mantha. I actually have zero problems with Line A. We've got an update of Martinez for the Vegas Golden Knights. I only uh, rag on Line A because of eight feet down when he's in the room. If he's not in the room, I honestly could care less. Cam Atkinson for the uh, Columbus Blue Jackets. Columbus and Phoenix, eh? Mark Stone for the Vegas Golden Knights. I was going to say, what about Vegas? Do you not think Vegas would be that like a, like a team that pretty much naturally everyone would want to cheer for? Moments of Jack Hughes for the Devils. Like, I would be down for cheering for Vegas. We got an Ottawa Senators, Connor Brown. Too good, too quickly. Fair enough. For the Red Wings, we've got a base limited auto, Tyler Bertuzzi. Tyler Bertuzzi. Columbus. I don't know if Columbus would be a middle one. Carolina, I could see. Sebastian Aho, Carolina Hurricanes Limited. Future Watch Auto for the Maple Leafs, Ilya Makayev. Actually, the one that I found had a lot of fun bandwagon fans. And I, I'll be honest, I was kind of on it too, is Nashville. For whatever reason, just it's kind of cool watching them get there. I don't know if it was their city was cool about it. 
Moment of Crosby for the Penguins. I feel like that had part of it, that their city really got behind it. We've got a red of Tory Crew for the Boston Bruins and a 9.99 Otto Koivula. Islanders Otto Koivula. Yeah, I got really behind Nashville when they uh, when they had their run. McKinnon for the Avalanche Spectrum, or maybe it was the cheering. The cheering was uh, I think what got me attention too. Spectrum Future Watch of Clem Costin for the St. Louis Blues. Detroit. Oh God, no. Detroit's horrible. I don't want them ever winning a cup again. Moment of Kucherov for the Tampa Bay Lightning. I feel like Detroit burned all their time with all the winning that they did. For how long they won and their playoff streak and all that. Nope, they burned their bridge. Stam goes for the Tampa Bay Lightning. All star. Yeah. SP Essentials of Carey Price for the Habs. Young Guns of Nick Camano for the Dallas Stars. And an SP Essentials of the Brinkat for the Hawks. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Detroit was probably like one of the best teams for the longest time. So I, I don't feel sorry for Red Wings fans right now of how bad they are. They deserve it. They had so much success. So much damn success. They need to understand what some failure failure means. <laughs> except for in breaks, I like that. I like that, except for having them in breaks. We've got for the Minnesota Wild, Marion Gabrick. Gabrick. For the Tampa Bay Lightning, Letterman Auto to 15, Andre Vasilevsky. Vasilevsky, Letterman, number to 15. For the Devils, Andy Green. Autograph, Andy Green. And we've got for the Boston Bruins time capsules of Brad Marchand. Brad Marchand. Alright, so if it was a... I'm trying to think how I can word this. If it was a Montreal-Toronto final, for those teams who... Uh, for those fans who are not Leafs or Habs fans, obviously, who would you cheer for? And don't get me wrong, I also know it's not possible. I'm just saying... On all of you who are neutral, only the people who are neutral that are not a Leaf or a Habs fan, obviously. We've got for the Hawks, Glenn Hall. Glenn Hall. Habs, Toronto. we got Carolina, Aho. You hate the Habs. Oh, you're a Bruins fan. Wow, that's interesting. So on, as a Bruins fan, you'd rather Toronto win than Montreal. Interesting. For the Panthers, 399, Josh Brown. And I'm presuming by your name, do you cheer for Canucks? Or do you cheer for Oils, Oilers? Because I see you got uh, an Oiler logo. For the Rangers, 149 Green, Ryan Lindgren. Ryan Lindgren. Oilers? Okay. For the Islanders, the 145 Reliance Red of Oliver Wallstrom. Wallstrom. For the Devils, Reliance Rookie Auto, Brandon Gignac. Ryan Smith, okay. It's all coming together now, isn't it? Right, there we go, Brandon Gignac. We've got for the Rangers... 399 rookie of Capo Caco. Capo Caco. And for the Avalanche Century Momentous Ray Bork. The only reason I wouldn't be opposed to Edmonton winning the cup is just because of McDavid. And again, I know the impact that that would have on our hobby, which would be mind blowingly huge. 
So I don't uh, dislike the Oilers. I wish the team would uh, build a bit better about having the best player in the freaking universe right now. We've got number 22. A patch rookie auto for the Bruins. Charlie McAvoy. Boston Bruins, Charlie McAvoy. All right, I'm going to go do the random now for the cup 10, folks. So good luck to everyone. What a decent splendor. Splendiferous. All right, so good luck, everyone. Here we go. Here we go, 13,169. Whoever lands on top gets the cup tonight. I wish you guys all the best of luck. Three times. One, two. LKW gets the 10. Congrats. 